Welcome back, my friends. Today we have with us the amazing Dr. Nicole Garner-Scott. She's a money coach, speaker, author, investment manager, runs a PR agency, and so much more. And she's here to talk money and business. Welcome, Nicole. Hi, ladies. How are you? So excited to be here with you today. We're excited to have you and talk about all of the things. Thank you so much for joining us, Nicole. So first and foremost, um, you have a few different businesses. So let's start from the top. Please share with us what it is that you do and how you became Dr. Nicole Garner Scott. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you. Okay, well, I'll dive right on in, but thank you so much. I wanted to say for having me on and just giving me the opportunities to be on your amazing platform. Um, So a little bit more about me. I like to say I got into the world of entrepreneurship as a child. starting at like five years old. I was like the little candy lady in the neighborhood, the overachieving Girl Scout, all of those different things. Um, Very early in life, I knew I wanted to go into business for myself and um, went to college knowing I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, My very final semester of college is when I actually started my PR agency. So um, the internship that I had, ended up saying they wanted to give me the business, the account I was working on. And so they called me one day and was like, hey, we just need to get you in the system, send us your EIN number and your um, your W-9 and we'll get everything ready to go. And I was like, great, I'll have that right over to you. And as soon as I hung up, I, I was on my school computer, like, what is an EIN? And <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll do it. Figure it right. out. Right. Yes. So I had to figure it out basically and um, got into the space of doing that. So um, I really had a lot of entertainment clients. Uh, my very first client was the late Kim Porter um, and her company. It was called Three Brown Girls. It was her, Ebony Electra, and um, Nicole Cook Johnson, who is the granddaughter of Sam Cook. And so um, we just traveled across the world doing a lot. And that was my introduction to my own business and really had to learn business as I was growing at the same time. You have a book called Make Space for Wealth. Yes. Tell us what to expect if we pick up that book. Yes. So um, it's become very trendy where everyone wants six figures and seven figures in life, right? When you ask, what's your magic number that would take all your problems away? And that's what people usually say. But leading up to that, they have not created the space to be able to um, to receive that money, to grow it and to escalate it. So um, and, and, and we call it the lottery effect. So many people, they win the lottery and what they they lose that money immediately or they lose that yeah. money very rapid time because nothing was prepared for that. Nothing as far as their mindset was prepared for that, or even um, just things manifesting in their life to be able to hold that. So, um, so if you are in the space of, of going after your wealth and achieving wealth for your life, are you starting to create some things to make sure that that wealth can actually stay so that that, that money is, is respected in your life? Yes. Um, and so having your wealth manager, having your, your money dream team in place, um, working on some of the financial traumas that you may have dealt with as a child uh, to, to make sure you don't have a toxic relationship with money, um, looking at areas of your life where you have money blocks or energy blocks, all those different things are very important so that when you start to get this money coming into your life, that it doesn't dis- precipitate as soon as it comes in. That's good. So smart and so important, so needed. So let's talk about the Garner Circle and the impact that PR can have on your business is a hot topic. Sure. So I say that right now, at, the, at this time in, in our economy, in our society, people want to know that brands are believable. People want to know that brands have a trust factor and that they're authentic. And so we can see in in the last couple of years, really, that social media can can create what's called cancel culture. So if they don't believe what it is that your brand is saying, if they don't believe your company truly um, uh, backs up what they say that they stand for, then social media will congregate, your audiences will congregate, and they will they will cancel you in a way, or they will figure out ways to hurt your bottom line with with, uh, how they choose not to spend with you or 
how they choose to uh, say what your brand really truly represents. And so PR is very, very important right now in really um, resonating with your audience, really sharing your true narrative, building trust, building credibility, um, and truly sharing your narrative and your story so that people know what it is that your foundation is built on. Oh, such a great example for women. So thank you so much, Nicole. Where can people connect with you? Because I'm sure that they want to after hearing your story. Yes. Well, so, yes. Well, thank you guys so much. You put my information across the bottom. Um, so for those who are watching, it's amountfinancial.com for your financial advisement and money coaching needs. And then if you're on social, my uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, all of that is at Dr. Garner Scott. I'm very responsive on social. So um, social is fun for me. I live in that space. So feel free to ask me any questions or anything that we talked about today that you need more clarity on and I'll be there to answer. Thank you, Dr. Nicole. We have so much more juicy goodness coming up, but first it's time to crush your Saturday morning with Christy.